Good morning guys! So today is our last day in dry dock. It's now 7.42 and I need to go down because we have a meeting at 7.45. It's like our daily meeting. So today is our last day here. We will leave the dry dock at 1400 today. So let's go down. <laughs> So guys, what can you say about our last day in dry dock? <laughs> the ballast water treatment system installed on board. It has two independent systems which treat the ballast water by UV radiation, thus killing aquatic organisms and pathogens in the water. With this treatment, we can discharge the ballast water anywhere in the world, knowing that we're not carrying any pathogens which may disrupt the ecological balance in that place. The next day, we had the familiarization on how to operate the system and what to do if there will be a failure. But of course, a familiarization is not enough, so we had to test the system with an actual ballasting operation. After we test the system, I went to the beach to do a final check of my passage plan and to print the necessary papers required for departure. After that, I went for a coffee break. Happy! Hello! Hi! Why do you look so happy today? Ah, because I saw you. So Let's go to the dry dock. Last day, we're going to go to the dry dock. It's 1.30. So, at 12.30, we'll start the preparation for departure. So, we have a checklist that we're going to follow. So, we'll follow the checklist for departure. Switch on our VHF. We're on standby. Okay, test also. Okay. Select route. And we are going here to Anchorage. So in total, it's 28 miles. 29 miles. So about three hours to go there. It's the destroyers. No. He's going home, by the way, in. Um, Hopefully, yes. Yes. In two okay, weeks. we will test the the the, 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 the Okay. Okay, okay Nicola. So guys, we have 30 minutes to do one-hour notice. So, I'll go first to the left. Our ship's dry dock has come to the end. And I feel excited because it means I will see the ocean again. But a part of me feels also sad about leaving. The past weeks have been so amazing and interesting as I keep learning new things and seeing a lot of people every day. Not to mention the Chinese are very friendly. 
On my previous videos, I have shown you a lot of jobs that went on deck, like tank entry inspections, lowering of the anchors, and painting of our ship. We also lowered our lifeboat for its annual inspection, with me and Fort Engineer doing the lifeboat test on the water. We also had numerous blackouts as every time we moved from bird to dock, we switch powers between shore to ship and ship to shore. I was the most happy when we went down to see our ship from the floating dock as I experienced the overwhelming feeling of how small a person can be and I feel very humbled and grateful because of it. For the navigation side, the biggest event is the installation of our new radars. As seafarers, we rely so much on equipment to help us, and the radars give us a lot of information about the traffic situation in general. For me, this is the most exciting job as I have shared with you I'm the navigational officer of our ship. I was thinking about it for days, preparing a list of what I will check once we have it installed. And I feel responsible for it somehow, like a mother to a child. was tested earlier, I still have to test it as part of my pre-departure checklist. I also test the control from the beach wings. Since we're starboard side alongside, I tested the control from the port side first. Lastly, I test the side which we are alongside too. I will leave the control here, as later on, captain and the pilot will maneuver the ship from this side. But if we are port side alongside, then I'm going to test the port side last, and then also open the windows that the 
everything is tested. Also, we already called people for standby. So now we're just waiting for the pilot to come. And then we're ready to depart.